Hello, the practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsych researcher, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. Um, this particular video is on a uh, new user or a couple of users called the Trick Busters. Um, do you remember everybody, um, for those of you who are my, uh, my regular watchers, you know about the fact that I keep um, commenting on other people's videos and I keep putting up videos about how it is necessary for uh, us as skeptics to constantly double check our arguments uh, you know, and avoid critical thinking lapses um, for um, fear that we might go too far irrational the other way and start rejecting everybody in sight who might be even the slightest bit uh, against our viewpoints or, or people we might even start attacking us. Well, um, this uh, particular uh, user, if you go into Google and under, uh, sorry, if you go into the search bar and under username or under channels, uh, put trick busters, all one word, you'll find these guys. And uh, what they are is that they're a skeptical engineer and another skeptic. I don't remember what he does. I think he's a linguist. Um, the two of them uh, debunk uh, a variety of David Copperfield and uh, Chris Angel and other tricks. This is good. This is a good thing for skepticism. However, in their commentary, before, at the beginning and the ending of their videos, they go a little too far. And this, and I want to explain this, and I want to explain this perfectly clearly as to where uh, the difference is. I've already, I've already listed this on there. I've already put up, posted comments on their, uh, on their video, uh, on one of their videos about this. Uh, they said, um, they said that they, I was absolutely right. They, they liked it when magicians helped debunking, but it was counterbalanced by all their performing illusions. They said, and I quote, "It's like a thief making a video." about the techniques of, uh, of how they steal from people so this way they can excuse uh, or so well on the other hand they promptly uh, go break into people's houses and steal stuff bad analogy it's a, again a faulty argument by analogy um, so I'm, I'm literally po posting this right now just so this way people are well aware of what uh, of what I'm talking about here and I'm gonna be posting this as a video response to their uh, to the same video of theirs in a minute but um, as soon as it's uploaded I mean but I want okay um, I want people to be perfectly aware of this, okay? Magicians specifically state before and after that they are performing illusions. People in the audience understand this. Anybody who goes to an actual magic show understands this. The difference between a, a, a magician and a con artist, and this includes religion, I will include... You, you hear this religious uh, authorities, I'm including you in this, in this category. The difference between a magician and a religious authority or a con artist. A con artist does these tricks or does something similar and claims that they are actually doing something supernatural or claims that it is real. You know, claims that it is a real paranormal or supernatural phenomena. And uh, they dupe you into thinking this and uh, you end up giving them money, uh, your time, or in some cases uh, being willing to sacrifice your health to the point of death. Uh, cases in point, um, faith healings that fail to work out, and Scientology um, as prominent examples of this. Um, Examples of, uh, and of course, uh, or psychics who uh, end up taking mil uh, hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars for readings and playing, uh, plaguing on loved ones. Uh, John Edward is a prominent example. Carolyn Ray is another. Um, again, these people have been debunked and uh, they... <sighs> okay, now, I want to make this perfectly clear. A magician uh, is not a thief. It is not like uh, uh, the magician's performing illusions. Uh, it's not outweighed by their performing illusions. A magician performing illusions and then telling you that they are performing illusions, what is what most magicians do, is actually helpful to people. Because by telling them that they are illusions, it gives people the critical thinking mindset to attempt to figure out how the trick is done. If they can figure out how the trick is done, that means that that skill is now transferable to other areas to avoid being duped. Like figuring out techniques of how, uh, like figuring out how the basic techniques of misdirection and the like are applied in politics and advertising. These are tools in helping you become a better critical thinker, okay? Performing illusions and stating they are illusions is a good thing. Because, again, it's a critical thinking tool. To, uh, to state, um, Penn and Teller do this and on occasion even reveal their tricks. To state that magicians are in the same category as astrologers, psychics, spoonbenders, faith healers, uh, uh, homeopaths, and religious authorities is a fallacy of guilt, of guilt by association. I've already explained this before. Apparently they missed that. Um, the analogy of saying it's like a thief uh, trying to um, it's like a thief trying to uh, uh, do, it's like a thief trying to, uh, uh, you know, explain the, tri the tricks of how they do it and then go steal people is incorrect because of the fact that magicians when they're not debunking their work, clearly state that they're, uh, that they're doing illusions so therefore they're not, trying to they're not trying to dupe you. They're actually letting you know that you are being duped in the hopes of trying to get you to figure it out. Okay?
fault, uh, argument, uh, argument by false analogy, which is a second, uh, which is yet a third fallacy, uh, uh, critical thinking fallacy in this argument. If you want a good analogy for it, it's like police. Think of a police academy. Police are going to train you in a few things. One of which is that they're also going to train, uh, in addition to training you the in the basics of uh, you know how to arrest criminals and you know and the and the law and everything else like that. They're also going to teach you tricks on how criminals work, how criminals hide, how criminal you know how you know they're going to teach you those skills of detective work, how to figure out how to you know how to detect criminals. Now, what do you think magicians are doing in this case when you're trying to debunk pseudoscience? First, they will teach you probably the first few of how these tricks work to uh, try to give you an idea. The, that's where you'd see the magicians doing debunk work. Then magicians in general format will tell you that they are doing illusions anyway, or saying like, behold as to, and prepare to be amazed by this illusion. David Copperfield in quite a few of his tricks actually states quite clearly that it is an illusion. You know, like he, he's done this quite clearly. Chris Angel has done this. David Blaine has done this. Uh, Penn and Teller do this. James Randi, the, uh, the biggest mega skeptic, who I've said I've had problems before with this $1 million challenge, but that's not relevant here. Uh, you know, uh, again, you know, he is the biggest of one of the, you know, he's one of the biggest and most well-known magicians who has clearly stated that he's, uh, that he, uh, that these are, uh, illusions. He himself, he said, he himself still does magic tricks and his business card for years has said professional charlatan. Okay. He has admitted to this. Every magician has admitted that they are doing illusions. They are telling you, you are being duped in the hopes that you will think about how you are being duped. It's like the, and then as they perform tricks for you and don't tell you the secrets, you figure them out that, um, like, like, uh, like James Randi used to do with Richard Feynman. And you can Google this online. Take a look at James Randi. I think it's uh, uh, James Randi, Richard Feynman. You'll find a uh, clip where uh, James Randi talks about this, how he used to do tricks um, to Feynman to try to get Feynman to, uh, to guess the brain teasers. And Feynman was a mega skeptic, remember. So this was between two skeptics, one trying to train the other. Okay? This is a training technique. And uh, it would be like that. Then the uh, the natural, uh, then these brain teasers or what have you would be like would be exams, midterms, finals, and then uh, as a result, these would be ongoing exams, like trying to get you to think your credit, you know, like they would be like assignments, exams, what have you, trying to keep your think critical thinking skills sharp, and thus allowing you. And as new illusions come out, they would uh, as new uh, tricks by the con artists come out, uh, magicians would perform better illusions or you know give possible better ideas to how to do it. So this way uh, you can figure it out or they would reveal it or what have you. And then you would go back out there and then be able to tackle the new uh, con artistry. You see my point? We are the we are the we are the police on a front line trying to enforce rationality. Okay? Or trying to counter trying to counter con artistry bullshit and pseudoscience. To do that, we have to be able to see examples of that. Otherwise, I mean, like if we were, um, if we didn't see, if it was wrong, if we didn't ever see, uh, if we were just simply told this is pseudoscience and this is pseudoscience vaguely, but then we saw something new that maybe didn't even fit that category and was pseudoscience, and we didn't know uh, how people uh, manipulated or tricks, we would be completely blindsided to it, and we could be easily manipulated, and our critical thinking skills wouldn't do us jack because we uh, wouldn't do us jack shit, you know, didn't do us any good because there wouldn't be any information that we could draw on on how to apply them. Do you see the point here? Magicians performing illusions and stating that they are illusions, uh, you know, stating that they are uh, duping you is a good thing because it is training you. It is giving you information to work with. Okay? Now, debunking tricks like you have is a good thing. That's also a good thing. But lumping magicians in with the con artists when they're the ones who are, in fact, both by debunking and both by stating that their illusions are illusions or trying to train you in critical thinking is a bad thing. You're only making the process slower for people to learn uh, criti not only critical thinking, but learn how to apply critical thinking. If somebody, can't, if somebody just is told a few magic tricks and then assumes that magicians are evil or what have you, then they're not even going to take a look at the other magic tricks. They're just going to assume it's fake without actually trying to think about how it's fake or why they are, or how they are doing it. If they're being told, however, that it is an illusion and they're assuming the magician's like, okay, the magician's providing me a brain teaser, then they will apply their critical thinking skills and figure out how it's done. If they can't figure it out on their own, they're going to constantly try to come to you. Or if they can't find a source, they're going to have to believe it because they can't find any countervailing info. You get the point? Hello, it's providing exam it's providing counter evidence. It's, it's a critical thinking tool and it's a teaching tool to help people apply critical thinking. Okay. I'm sorry I'm ranting here about this, but this is beginning to really exasperate me because I've tried to explain this several times before to several other people about this, and it's uh, you know it's beginning to get annoying. So um, trick busters, please get this, uh, you know, please get this through your thick skull. No, sorry, please get this, uh, you know, please understand this, that magicians are helping us. They are not con artists uh, in the same way.
They are helpful. 